The small, heavily populated, subtropical island of Okinawa is the birthplace of the martial art karate and was the stage for the largest clash between the Empire of Japan and the United States of America during the Second World War. The conflict on Okinawa claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of soldiers and civilians, and to this day, the small, strategically located island has the largest concentration of U.S. troops stationed in Asia. Okinawa is the largest and most populated of the Ryukyu Islands. These islands form a sporadic chain, spanning between the south of Japan's largest island and Taiwan. Okinawa has been populated since prehistoric times, and the Ryukyuan people inhabiting the islands are believed to be an amalgamation of early waves of prehistoric migrants from the north and south, and were closely related to the Neolithic inhabitants of the Japanese archipelago during the Jomon period. They formed a home in an extremely harsh environment out of the 140 Ryukyu Islands. Only 36 have been suitable for permanent human settlement. On Okinawa, dense humid jungle inhabited by venomous snakes, thin soil not well suited for farming, and regular typhoons had to be overcome. A wide variety of seafood, wild boar, and deer sustained many small hunter-gatherer communities across the island for many centuries. Given its remote and inhospitable location, development on the island was very gradual. It was not until the 7th century that Imperial Chinese and Japanese explorers made the earliest recorded direct contact with the people of the central Ryukyu Islands. The Yamato Japanese called the islands Nanto, or Southern Islands. The Chinese called the islands the Liu Chiu, which Ryukyu is transliterated from. Early Chinese explorers had great difficulty attempting to communicate with the islanders, who refused to submit or did not understand the demands of the Chinese, who burnt down their palaces and took 1,000 captives back to China to study, and were a great source of curiosity at the imperial court. Early Japanese relations were much more amicable with the islands. The islanders spoke a language somewhat similar to an earlier form of archaic Japanese, which allowed the two to communicate. Over the course of centuries, the Japanese slowly extended their control over the northern Ryukyu Islands. Although costly, with little initial return on investment, this was done to protect their southern border from a feared Chinese invasion, and to stomp out pirate bases that occasionally sprouted up in the southern islands. To further secure the South, the Japanese banished nobles and officials who had fallen out of favor, criminals, vagrants, and other undesirables to the southern islands. This increased Japanese cultural influence in the islands. As Chinese and Japanese sailing technology continued to increase, so did the strategic value of the Ryukyu Islands and the maritime trade that flowed through the island chain. Sometime during the latter half of the first millennium AD, one of the chieftains and his family on Okinawa were singled out as a royal house to rule the whole island. According to later legend, the family was descended from the sun goddess of Okinawa and ruled for 17,000 years. But this is highly unlikely. In any case, the newfound prosperity that came with being located at the center of an increasingly busy international trade route brought about internal strife and competition between local lords, one of whom killed the last Tenson ruler of the island and in turn was killed by another lord who was the son of a Japanese exile and a local chieftain's daughter. During the Gusuku period that followed, the construction of many formidable castles across the island began. After a peaceful transition to a new dynasty in the later half of the 13th century, Okinawa extended their control over many of the central Ryukyu Islands. During this time, Mongol envoys were driven off the island on two occasions, the second time violently after they had demanded submission and Okinawa's participation in the invasion of Japan. Luckily for the Ryukans, the Mongols tried and failed twice to conquer Japan, and were spared any retaliation. As external threats diminished, internal strife increased. In the early 14th century, two breakaway kingdoms were formed by lords who despised the weak young king, beginning a century of strife known as the Three Kingdoms period of Okinawa, also known as the Sanzan Jedi, meaning the Three Mountains period. The Northern Kingdom of Hokuzen was the largest in landmass and military power, while the Central Kingdom of Chuzan was the wealthiest, as it contained the largest and most lucrative ports on the island. All three kingdoms traded with and sent tribute missions to the Chinese Ming Dynasty, competing to gain their favor. In 1404, the King of Chuzan was overthrown by Shohashi, 
one of his minor local lords, who installed his father as king of Chuzan. Together, they conquered the north 15 years later, after three Hokuzan lords defected and joined their cause. Shortly after his father's death, Shohashi became powerful enough to crush the southern kingdom of Nanzan, uniting the island into the Ryuku kingdom. Shohashi established a new capital and administrative center at Shuri Castle. Throughout the first Sho dynasty, the economy boomed, and a very close, mutually beneficial relationship developed between the Ryuku kingdom and Ming China. During the reign of Shoshin, the Ryuku kingdom reached the height of its power, extending its control over nearly all of the Ryuku islands. The Golden Age of the Ryuku Kingdom roughly coincided with the Sengoku Jidai, or Warring States period of Japanese history. Shortly after, Japan was reunified under the control of the Tokugawa Shogunate, which the Ryuku Kingdom did not recognize. The islands were invaded. The Ryuku King was captured and taken back to Japan, where he swore allegiance to the Shimazo clan of southern Japan, making the kingdom a vassal of the Chinese and Japanese simultaneously. Although Okinawa had previously been a nominal vassal of the Shimazu clan over a hundred years before, after 1609, samurai and their retainers were sent to Okinawa to enforce policies dictated by the Shimazu, including the banning of weapons, which encouraged the further development of martial arts, particularly karate on the island. The wealth and prosperity of the Ryuku kingdom slowly declined from the 17th century onwards as Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, and English merchant traders began to dominate Southeast Asian trade routes, which coincided with China and Japan increasingly closing their economies to outsiders. Once Japan emerged from their isolation, they adopted a more imperialistic attitude. In 1872, the kingdom was brought under direct Japanese rule. In 1879, the kingdom was formally abolished, and programs were initiated to gradually eliminate Ryukin language, culture, and religion. During the Second World War, the United States planned to use Okinawa as a staging ground for the invasion of the Japanese home islands. During the nearly three months it took to capture the island, over 100,000 combatants, and approximately half of the island's 300,000 civilians lost their lives. After the war, the direct U.S. governance of the Ryuku Islands continued until 1972, long after the military occupation of the Japanese home islands had ended. In the treaty reverting control of the islands back to Japan, 32 U.S. military bases were to remain on the island for Japan's defense. Today, the bases form a large part of the island's economy and remain a contentious issue in regional politics. Okinawa's population has grown to nearly a million and a half, and its people are the healthiest and longest lived in the world by some estimates. This has been Epimetheus. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this, and huge thanks to my supporters on Patreon, who fund content on this channel.